Welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream with Life Peoples, which is also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. So welcome all YouTubers and thank you for all my subscribers. Um, I wanted to have a bit of a play. I've bought some metallic, uh, Derwent metallic pencils. And of course the pictures are always inspirational. But I also had, which I've had for a long time, some Caran d'Ache metallic classic colours. Um, so in my little book of watercolours, which I have ferreted away somewhere, I actually have these colours in there, but I don't have the Derwent's. So I'm going to make some colour squares, and then I'm going to do a comparison, and then I'm going to work in the Imagine Morphia and I want to do the butterfly but I'm going to have a go with the bugs first there's two beetles um, and I want to have a go with the metallics first so um, I can pop that to one side and just put a little sticky tab on there so I know where I want to be I've got my little squares which fits into my book which has totally disappeared. I don't know where I can lose my little book of colours. Put it with me. Oh, I know where I've put it. I keep doing this. I put it in my little bag. <laughs> I put it in my little pencil bag. So in my little book of colours, I haven't used them very often because I don't normally mix the metallic ones. Um, I have labelled them. There should be a set of, I don't think they're here. It's going to take me a week to find them now. It shouldn't do. There we are. The Karen Dash metallics so I'm going to do another one here with this one so I need a fine pen and there is a little colour swatch by the side of each one so um, I'll start with palest first so this one is supposed to be silver and I always find it easier to have a little ruler or a little something straight to make the little pads so what we do is we scratch here and I turn it over and scratch oops this way and then again Um, yes, both of them are watercolour. Yes, um, the Caran d'Ache has a paintbrush, water soluble, and the Derwent has a water soluble mark on it as well. It has a paintbrush on it. So they're both water soluble. And they are both going in my little book. So I made a bit of a scratchy mess on that first one, but I think that's a bit better. Sometimes if you make any ridges, you've kind of got to kind of fill the ridges with the colour. But you can say little bits are coming off now, so we're wasting wasting it but that's a big shiny flat section of colour um, so I might find this easier um, this colour swatch can go up the side I think I oh, know I like actually I like it that way mm, never mind the 
colour swatch can go at the side. So this is called Silver. And it's number 80. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that one can go... Um, there. And then the next one we want... Is this one? So I've drawn these little squares, and you get twelve colours. Um, it's a good idea to have a flat surface. Actually, I did have a little bit of glue on here, so it's a good idea to have a flat surface. That seems to be a lot, a lot flatter that one. And this one is called Pewter. And I normally try and put a little, use the same thing actually, to keep me a bit neater because I'm not a very neat writer. And that's number 81. And then the next one. I normally do about three coats, that's normally it. And this is how you make the squares of colour. It doesn't matter if you're using Caran d'Ache Colour 2 crayons, Faber-Castell uh, crayons, watercolour crayons, anything that's water-soluble, anything at all. If it's a pencil or a crayon, you make it like this. This is how you make, if your hands can stand it, that is. <laughs> My hands done in already. And normally about three, three layers. One about three layers. And that again, that gives you a really nice fat square of colour. And this one is gold, number 82. This one is antique gold. So there's a there's a little piece of oops space below each one and a space at the side. Space below is for the name. And the reason you label it is that when this runs out and you've used a lot, you don't have to make another page, take it out, or do anything with it, unless of course it's dropping to bits. All you have to do is to look at the colour, find the number, look at the colour, find the pencil, and then just re scribble over the whole thing. And you've revamped. In fact, I think I have a video called Revamping My Little Book of Watercolours. And I could have done it with the, um, the ink tense, I can't remember. So this is antique gold. And it's 83. Oops, 83. But you can put them in whatever order you want. It's just I, I do it that way. And the other one is for a colour swatch. So when I've finished, I'll get a small paintbrush. I'll get some colour on the paintbrush and a damp brush. And then I shall run it up there. And the same thing will happen. I'll have the solid colour at this end and the the rigger will take the water away and make a very pale colour. So I should get at least ten colours out of every colour swatch. Uh, so we have near colour twos. Um, we have um, Caran Dash near colour twos. Uh, Derwent, a lot of Derwent products. Um, I'm going to put the art bars into mine as well. 
So I don't have the full set of Karen Dash Nicola 2s. I'm going to put some art bars. But what I might do is actually do a colour chart and I might follow the colour chart and make up as near as damn it every colour that's in there. I think I might do that actually. Then I won't feel deprived that I don't have the full colour range. So this is bronze 84 and remember all this colour if it's activated it will it will react with water so 85 is copper and this sketchbook paper says that it's um, extra wet it's 140 pounds GSM oh, sorry 140 GSM um, but it has a little label underneath that says for extra wet and that means that when you put your watercolour and activate this it doesn't go to mush um, so ordinary sketchbook won't work it's got to be good quality I think they normally have a little sign on them with a paintbrush if it has a paintbrush sign on it it means it's suitable for light washes it'll be okay to go in your colour sketchbook but they're only a couple of pounds so this one is copper 85 And it doesn't take long. You think at first, oh my goodness. Um, it, it's a bit time consuming, but it's not too bad. You just do three squares and then you end up finishing them. It's just, if you've got bad hands, sometimes it's just a bit difficult for scribbling. But you could get kids to do it. You, know, you get the kids to do it and you write in which colour goes where. Then they can just scribble the squares. Uh, it's just that if you've got teenagers, you can be waiting a long time. And so this one is called yellow. Eighty six. So they do feel quite creamy. They feel exactly the same as the Derwent pencils, even though they're metallic, so they're not really scratchy. You know, it's a nice colour going on there. You can see there is quite a lot of colour going on there. Hopefully you can see. And they seem to be kind of, you know, quite nice. As soon as you can start to see kind of bits kicking about, you know that you've got enough on there. So this one's called Red 87. I'm not sure if they do any more. I don't know if they've got the full set. So if anybody wants to have a look to see how much they are. It said these were half price, they were £10. And I don't know what possessed me to pick them up, but I did. <laughs> I think it was the fact that I wanted, I like the butterfly picture, so the pictures on the front influence. They certainly did with the graphy tint. I wanted to be able to do that with the graphy tint. So about three about three layers and you can build up a nice paper palette. This is purple eighty-nine. 
tips up at 87 because I'm a lunatic. <laughs> I am today anyway. So has anybody got any questions, pop them in caps. Um, if this is on YouTube and it's uh, a bit boring, just fast forward it to the end. It's just, you can see in real time how long it takes you to make a page. So if you have a lot of water soluble products, you might not want to put them all in or you might want to put them all in. But you can see just how long it takes you and how different ones react differently. The Karen Dash Neo Color 2s, you can almost put them on in one go because it's a crayon. Whereas the pencils, all the pencils take about three coats. That's pink 88. And blue is number 90, so there must be some others because they're different numbers. So I shall have to have a look and see why I haven't got the full set. But I just thought that the Imagine Morphia would look quite spectacular with a little bit of metallic colour. And the graphite tint as well. I like the graphite tint. Um, so I shall be doing one of those next week, I think, or this, maybe tomorrow. I'll do a graphite tint Imagine Morphia. So this is Blue 90. And last but not least is green 91. As you can see on that second coat, it's almost done. Oopsie, I'm just gonna be a bit careful my hands not brilliant but you do need a little bit of force. <clears throat> so that's green ninety one. And that's ready to go in my little book of watercolours. So we'll have a little bit of a place. So what did that take? That took about seventeen minutes probably about 15 minutes and um, I'm just going to actually sharpen the first one I'm just going to sharpen silver because I don't know if this one works or not just wasn't happy with maybe because it's just silver it, the silver one is just a little bit not as creamy it's a bit harder so the silver one if you can see the others are all kind of like softy pencils almost like a, a 6b this one is like a 6h <laughs> so that's basically the best way to describe them all the others are lovely and rich and creamy but this silver one is a little bit like um probably not a not a 6H, probably a 2H. It's definitely not, um, these have gone on almost like a, like a 4B, 6B. Uh, but it was, the, it was the picture on the front that inspired me. <laughs> Thinking that you could get these colours. So we'll, we'll have to see. So I'm going to take my... Um, Number three, Dela Rowney Rigger, um, and I'm quite partial to this one at the moment, so I am just, as always, dunking in there flat, so I'm not damaging the brush, bringing it back and twisting, so I get my point, I've got a damp brush, um, and I quite like that way of working. Just put those to one side for the minute. So what this can I can do now, if I just zoom in, 
and you can see a little bit better of what I'm doing. So what I normally do is I just, and this is a damp brush, so I take a circle of colour and I then touch down and keep rubbing. And so it's very pale, but you can see there is colour there. I do that with all of them. So I take a corner. And so I've got quite a nice amount on there. And then I just... Now you probably wouldn't use this one like that. You would only use this one probably full strength. But it just gives you an indication of what's happening. Um, but this is what I do with all of them. And just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. So you get your darkest and your palest. Now these are not working as well because they are metallic. Um, so I wouldn't expect them to have such um, a range. But you can still probably get five shades out of those. So again, a nice fat puddle of colour and then just dribble that across. I didn't do that very well because my hands are not perfect at the moment. Um, this is the pewter colour. And this is all you do to make a page and then you stick them in whatever you find photo albums the best because they have the plastic uh, protector pages in between so they make the perfect 21st century watercolour books and you pick the photo album for its cover and the size you like so if you want to go in a big sketchbook, you can have bigger pages. If you like the A4, which is what this is, oops, I stopped. Then you want a different one. So obviously the colour pigment has altered the pencil because there's a lot more colour in the pencil one. So that's what you've ended up with. And the other reason is because they're a little bit wet, that well that one's wet, the other ones are dry now. If you shut the book with the plastic on it, it's not going to touch that. You're going to get a little bit on that side. But because this is fixed, that colour here will always go onto the right one. They won't contaminate each other. Um, so this one, the colour swatches look to be definitely almost 10 shades. It depends how metallic they are. So I have got the near colour twos. Well, the blue, there isn't definitely a blue in the in that. Is this if I just just pan out a little bit? we can see that um, the silver, if I do that, that's the silver. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom back in, sorry. I'll zoom back in because you can actually see it better if I zoom in. So they're the two silvers. So the Derwent may be a little bit stronger to begin with, but you get more colours out of that one. Um, there isn't a pewter. Um, there is a gold, almost a gold. Um, I might say that's probably pewter. Um, so shiny-wise, I'm not sure that any of them are shiny. 
when they're completely watered down. Um, so there aren't any that have been duplicated in either side. They're all slightly different, apart from the silver. So let me have a look now. Be careful, he's still got a trolley back. What's he doing? He's got his ball. I've given him a bath. A bath? Oh, for goodness sake, it's freezing. <laughs> Gosh. Right, where's my little plastic thing? Right, can you shut my door, darling, please, because it's cold. Thank you. No, leave the kitchen door wide open, so I'm frozen. Don't you love teenagers? So that's the one I want to do. But um, I'm going to do a bug first. Oh, Alfie. Um, so I could do it with a mixture because they're all different. I've got, I've now got 12 metallic colours. So there we go. So was that helpful? Or was that as clear as mud? <laughs> Samantha, please shut my door, darling. Thank you. I am recording now. Thank you. So apologies to, uh, anybody that's listening so um, I've got this I kind of like these um, we could have a look at beetles are normally blues and greens so the Karen Dash seem to have more greeny tones and blue tones and there's a purple uh, whereas these are kind of a bright a brighter colour. We can't do with this, Samantha. Please shut my kitchen door, darling. Thank you. Now they all want to play. Um, so we'll have a go. But what I'm going to do is use them as I've used the others and then activate them. Does that make sense? So, um, in fact, I thought what I could do is actually half and half. I could do... Der went that side and... Karen dashed the other side. If that makes any sense at all. Um, what one's this one? This is a uh, pewter. So I'm actually going to uh, I'll get the one out that I was using. Um, and then I can see if it actually damages me. I've got my little dough went. And I didn't realise I had all these things. I'm, I'm kind of just finding them. So, um, I'm not sure if pewter would actually show up, but um, I think the little screws would. So we'll do the little. There's a little screw here. Look. So we could kind of colour that in. And then we could take our, I think we're going to be using the 10 zero on this one. And just activate that. So this is a pewter one. Mm. It doesn't look as shiny. Maybe you're not supposed to kind of water it down. That's probably what you're supposed to do is just use it as a pencil because it's shiny. So it is shiny. This is the Derwent pewter. So it's shiny when you don't water it down, but when you water it down, it's not shiny. And I think that's the same for for all of them. This looks like gold, you want to have a look at this one. So 
This is the Caran d'Ache. And I was doing the finger joints. And the shiny. Um, but I just do. It's just a bit warmer, is that? So it's like a, almost like a gold because it's just a bit warmer than the pewter. Oops, sorry. Maybe that one's this the silver. Yeah. So again, that's the Caran d'Ache metallics. And they're shiny, but they're not quite as shiny. They're, well, about the same, maybe. I think Derwent is slightly shiny. But I think when you wet them, they're not. Um, so we'll just do... I think we said that was probably the nearest one, did we? Have a look. Yeah, there's a silver. So let's do a large, large one. <sighs> so this one is the Caran d'Ache. Yeah, and it's shiny. It's the same as this one. So they're both shiny, but I think if you water them, they wouldn't be. So I'll just do this little one here. And again, this is the Caran d'Ache metallic. And what did I do with my number? Fine watercolour brush. Number 10. And activate it. Yeah, it's not shiny. So they're shiny, but they're not shiny when you water them down. Did that make sense? <laughs> And so again, you can see that on here. So all the shine is on the squares, and there's no shine where I've wet it. The same with these, they're all shiny except for where I've done this, the color swatch. Uh, so the gorgeous colours, um, it's a nice silver grey, and so they're not shiny if you if you um, water them down. So I shouldn't have bought them really because I won't probably be using them as a pencil. But never mind, never mind. Um, so they're both quite good and both different colours in each one. So that was helpful. Um, there's some quite nice colours again I've got to have a look at the colour swatch um, there's some nice colours so we could pick some areas to colour in Um, so that would be a colour to colour in and then kind of see what we could do with that and at this side I mean they're nice pencils to use they're, they're creamy, they're like um a Derwent ink tens, they just they do actually flow quite nice. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on to get a colour out of them, so they're quite nice. And again, that's going to be metallic, that's going to shine. That's 
going to shine. Oh, bye, Suzanne. Thank you for stopping in. So that's quite nice if you wanted it shiny. So what I was going to then do is to pick um, a deeper shade, really. So I think that one's that one, number 24. Yes, it is. So I'm going to do, I want um, probably a pewter colour. So I haven't actually found whether there's a hundred colours in each or seventy-two in the Derwent and so many of the Caran d'Ache. I'm guessing there is because of the miss of numbers I have. Um, so this could be quite interesting if you were doing it with pencils. Again, because my daughter's doing animation, I might actually give them to her because it's not easy for me to use so how, what are we doing here I'm not really sure what I'm doing but we've got some slightly different color here um, I need really need my my color swatches nearer to me I suppose um, the gold one looks quite nice have a look at the gold one so that seems to be on top so um, this could be on top in theory so let's have a look maybe at that so it was the edge piece for this wasn't it so color this in and I probably could maybe use these because I'm not using a lot of pressure. Um, now, if I wanted to change the kind of behavior and color, I'm not sure what I do. That kind of goes like that. So I could choose um, this one to kind of come out um, that's very similar there's a slight difference in there but it's very similar is that one um, but I'm going to keep going because this is a practice so I'm not going to wet this one I don't think so there is a warmer one here so again, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing I'm just playing with some metallic colours um, that are shiny And I've just put that one into there. So um, you could possibly go. You could possibly go darker. So that was silver. That was pewter. The next one is is gold. A little bit yellow, I think. Is that this is the Caran d'Ache? Oops, you're better with um, a flat rather than a pointed kind of area. But that's the Caran d'Ache, and I would say that's the gold.
and this is the gold. I just have to darken that up a little bit. So they do actually draw on top of each other. Oopsie. So they are quite shiny. Um, I don't think I like I don't think I like them being so different so I'm just going to go over there with this one very yellow that it, it isn't it isn't quite as different as that one but um, and this is actually one action that's I don't really like doing so it's not very warm I have to say Maybe a warmer colour, but they do um, they do blend quite well. These, even though one's Karen Dash and one's Derwent or Karen Dash, it depends how you pronounce it. Um, but they're not kind of. how I would want to colour them. So I don't really like that, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to go with it. So uh, we could possibly have a warmer one underneath there. Um, it's a pencil and I don't do pencils so <laughs> but they are shiny so I might have to do the butterfly in other colours I don't know why I went over those because I could have quite easily made those the silver. So I do have a darker um that's almost a copper colour, so I do have a copper in this one. Yeah, so I wonder if that would be better. Let's see, let me have a look. So this might work. They're actually working quite well together. So I've got kind of a pale one in the Caran Dash near colour two, uh, near colours. Sorry, the Caran Dash, and then metallics, and then there seems to be a copper tone in the Derwent metallics. That's a tone darker. So actually, they're working really well together. Um.
and I don't actually have to press on quite as dark as that because it's not very comfortable for me. So if you want some real dark ridges you can you can pick them out. And again, you know, that's, that's shiny. Um, yes, the, the, they're not any good for me because I don't do pencil. But yes, they are metallic. Um, hold that up like that. The colour, my colour's a bit out, but you can see there is a shine on there. There's a shine. So they, they both work really well. So I can go into a cooler colour to go under here. Uh, and again, I'm just going to have a quick look. So I've got kind of a really green in the... It's kind of a really tealy green. But then I have a some other green in blues that will go well together. So there's about four shades I've got. Um, four pencils that will go together. So like the darkest in here, let me sharpen these, because these I haven't sharpened them since I've made um, the little book. So we can kind of very carefully, so if I do very carefully, I can use them. It's not too painful. When I was trying to get some really deep shades in here, that's not really me. So I could possibly with these these are quite good and then I can swap to a green oh dear my thumb really hurts now so again just stroke that color in so actually that works really well that works quite well, does that? You can see that. So I've got the green 91 from Derwent, and then I have um, the, the classic Karen Diash uh, metallic um, as a highlight, and it's it's a, like a paler green. So that, that works quite well. So again, I can go in there with this one. So there's more colour with the Derwent's. There's, there's more definition. You can definitely say that's green, but then this is kind of um, a silver green, shall we say, the Caran d'Ache. I mean, I may not have picked the right colour, but this is kind of a grey green, a silver green. And then there is another one in there, which is a um, this is a deeper green, almost a blue green. You think that's this one? This is a darker green, and this is the Caran d'Ache one. So I wonder if it's going to be the same. It's a little bit bluer, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit bluer. So if we bring that forward, that's the paler one which is like a silvery and then this is a greeny one but it's just a bit bluer green so that's a slightly bluer green than this one so you've got three nice shades together and then that one is very blue that is a blue that one um, so actually although I don't like this I like I like them individually if that makes any sense They may not have them anymore. I, 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 I didn't even buy these. I had a box of goodies from an eBay person that I want bought. Um, there was pens and pencils that I wanted, and in the bottom was this set. Um, I think I bought these. Pretty sure I didn't. 
So I'm actually going to probably put them in, in my um, Derwent thing together because these these three are like three greens. There's the Derwent green, there's a Caran d'Ache paler green and there's the bluey green but they actually work quite well together. And then there's the real bluey one and then we've got the bluey one from the Derwent. So I've got quite a good combination here. I've got 24. Um, in fact, I will actually use, I think I'm going to use the blues for this particular. Just sharpen this. And this is the first time I've ever, I've ever colored it in pencil. I can't really do it because it's, it's too painful for my joint. <laughs> um, but I'm just having a bit of a play. So this is the the dough went blue and this is the blue E one so there isn't much in it in fact I'm going to do that blue under there some pale and then I'm going to actually do the darks in the Derwent so you can kind of put a little bit of a line on that one You would think you were using the same pencils, they're the same quality. So I shall, I'll, put, I'll pan out a bit, because you saw that they, bo they both look the equal, equal amount, so let me zoom out. I'm not the best pencil person, oh, one way because I, I do have very bad hands so um, but as you can see this is quite if I do this it's quite shiny and you can't tell which is Derwent and which is the other one They both look the same. They're both shiny. Um, but as a flat colour, this is how shiny they are. They're the Derwent ones. So there's more colour in those. And this is the... These are shiny, but they're paler colours. They haven't got as much pigment, I would think, in them. Although that's the red... And it is a quite a good indication. Uh, that's a pinky red and that's a reddy red. And we have a reddy red there. So you can see there's more colour in the blues. There's quite a lot of colour in the Derwents. Um, that's the purpley one. But they're both as equally as shiny. And they both work well together. As I say, I'm probably not the perfect person to be, because I've taken that to brown, so I'm going to just go over this one a bit. So, um, I have a little one with that one. This was the bronze, wasn't it? This is the bronze. Um, I thought I'd just go over the bronze together, just to give, get rid of those pencil lines on there. Um, so I quite like those. Um, I think my my daughters would end up with them. Um, and again, you can go over. I'm going over. One of these is Derwent, and one of them is near uh, Carandiash.
so that's actually brought it together so it looks a lot better now but they are shiny they are metallic I want to get rid of I think this the gold one was a little bit cooler than it should have been maybe perhaps warm that one up a little bit um, but I don't really have any idea what I'm doing with this particular creature um, I should have done a photocopy first um, so there's a gold one here, so that might be a little bit cooler. But it's, they're definitely shiny. The best thing to do is to is to go into a shop and and you sometimes a cast art. You normally can try them. They always have some out. I think if there's a cast art near you, if you can get near them. Um, let me have a think about this now. Um, so I could do the deep colour into here so I'm going to look at all of them I think colour wise um, the pewter is quite, quite deep actually this is bronze so this is the gold one so, so just Just stroking the top, so I'm not actually pre pressing down very, very, very light. So if I went on gold all the way around, it's kind of a unusual colour. And then if I could bronze that up a little bit, I wonder if that was bronze. Well, that was copper, so that's going to be a little bit warm, isn't it? That's the copper. That's the bronze, and that's the copper. So I think I want the bronze because the bronze is going to give me. Oh my! Do I have antique gold? So I just thought I could just kind of yeah. That's quite a nice subtle difference that. It's just a little bit of a difference. Again, you see it's quite shiny. So if I use the gold very, very lightly. In fact, antique gold might have been better. That would have given me the three. A little bit of a, a subtle difference, um, and then I want a really nice bright colour there. So I think I'm going to go for silver. I'll go for silver for the claws. Um, so just really carefully. You can see that it's shiny. So they're behaving just as they do on here. So on here they're shiny.
and the, the uh, Karen Dash Neo Color 2s are as well. So I'm actually pleased with that little bit there. I've managed to get myself together into a fairly decent um, colour mode. So I was using gold and um, gold and bronze and for a very a very high highlight I could have um, so I could put silver actually so I could put silver here Gold. So they do actually blend quite well. And this is a, a very light scattering of gold. I'm not I'm not pressing down at all. Just letting some of the pencil drift off. Let me just go around there and down here. And then I could just bronze this little bit up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit here. And normally three colours is all you need actually. Things get some really dark under there. So let's see how shiny this is now. see the shine. Yes, shiny tool wet. Shiny tool wet. Um, again, I quite like the idea of the silver for the very, very sharp metallics sorry for the sharp blades and things and then kind of having the gold in but they do they mix well together I have to say they're mixing quite well um, the gold is quite warm This one is, is almost like the yellow, so it's actually yellow is that one, so I'm going to put that one to one side. Um, this is antique gold, this one, so it's going to be a little bit darker, I think. But if you press differently, you're going to get different going to get different things. Not so clever, was it? No. This was the antique gold, so I could just put a little bit of that into there. Hello. 
and we'll have um, see what the gold does that's quite nice next to that one that is quite nice the gold next to the antique gold is, is a nice natural progression and then I might just go that way to the silver to give a cold claw so it's coming along um, I didn't think I'd be able to do it with pencil but the, because they are quite soft they they feel like um, they do feel a bit like a 2B pencil or, or an HB pencil um, which is soft enough just to stroke across the page and get some colour off so that's quite nice um, I think I did all the the nail silver so they're going to be quite cold um, so you need to leave them as a pencil you lose the shine you lose the shine but they are quite nice but they are I say good quality pencil they feel quite nice so I started with a silver So I think I'd go over with that colour and then use antique gold just for a little bit of shadow. Um, so I thought I hope that was that was helpful, but by by no means the pencil. I don't play with pencil for the simple reason that it just really wrecks my joint. <laughs> yep, it does. So I will be probably passing these on. I think. I do like this antique gold, it's quite nice. It's going to bring out some quite nice colourings, is this? So actually, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, not sure if I can do the butterfly, some really gorgeous colours, but uh, we'll have a look. But 
they're quite nice to use. Oops. The silver is a little bit of a probably an H pencil. You have that. You do have a more of a scratchy feel. Oops, it's not as creamy um, and as easy as the others. But that's because of its nature, I think. Um, I have a Karandash one. Let's see what that one does. Let's see if that's just as. Nope, the Karandash silver is like a 2B pencil. The Karen Dash one is, is like a 2B, 2 to 4B pencil. Um, which is slightly odd, but. Uh, As I say, I'm not sure about. Um, I'm not sure about the book. I quite like the colours. Um, see, there's a shiny there. Metallic. There's metallic there, so you can see there is a little bit. Oh yes, I have the graphite tint as well. The graphite tint are in my little book of watercolours. Um, I did thumper. I did thumper with graphite tint. Uh, one of my first, my first ones I did. So I've used a lot of the graphite tint. Um, and they have a shimmer as well. They have a shimmer, but not when they're wet. Uh, so I could, I could finish that one. And so if I just pan out here a little bit, we can see. That is kind of got a shiny, shiny body and shiny claws. That's the bit I've done so far. So they are nice to use, they are nice and soft to use, um, but they're not metallic when you wet them. They're only metallic when they are dry. So you use them as a pencil, so um, not as a watercolour pencil. So if you've got bad fingers, you, you have to use the pencils. But they are quite shiny. So I hope that um, held out a few a few uh, mysteries about metallic pencils. <laughs> Thank you for watching.